Welcome to Midwest Sportsnet. I'm Joey McWilliams, and I am privileged today to get to visit with Brian Bedford from the Bedford Agency Sports Recruiting. Brian, it's been a while since we've had a chance to visit, but uh, now is an opportune time then to get to do it because, man, you you have some new products that you are promoting there and ways that you can uh, actually help out recruits throughout the country. Yeah, absolutely. Um, first of all, thanks for having us. Um, it's a pleasure. It's been too long since we caught up for sure. Um, you know, my background, Joey, um, I always start there. I was a division one and division two recruiting director here in Oklahoma and Texas and uh, spent time at TCU and Southern Nazarene. So a lot of your listeners that are kind of familiar to Big 12 and GAC and MIAA, very familiar with a lot of the uh, schools and teams and coaches that are at these places. And along the way, um, as, as uh, I took my career and kind of advanced it into technology, I kind of just saw the art and science of recruiting really changing. And really, over the last 18 months, it's just dramatically changed. Um, but along the way, Joey, I would just have friends and colleagues that were, um, hey, my son or daughter wants to try to play sports, volleyball, soccer, basketball, uh, football, whatever it may be in college. How does it work? And I was getting that over and over and over. And five years ago, I just put my toe in the water and was like, I think I just need to just start helping some people. And that's where um, the Bedford Agency really kind of embarked. And we've done different things. We've hosted national events with folks like Jay Billis and various other folks. But our core remit that I always kept coming back to was our ability to make an impact in parents and student athletes' lives when it comes to that transition to college and how impactful that was. And now you kind of fast forward that five years along the way, and we're trying to reach more and more kids um, and, and, and do that in a meaningful way because there's just a lot of information out there right now. When you think about name, image, and likeness, super seniors, COVID, you think of transfer portal, in addition to scholarship restrictions, Title IX, and the normal things that go into recruiting, it's a complicated space right now that a lot of parents and student athletes are really struggling in. So if we can give back and do that in a way that is meaningful, that is I mean, that makes us feel good, number one, but I think it's the right thing for the industry right now, and we feel like it's an inflection point that we're trying to go kind of, uh, I don't know if capitalize is the right word, but make sure that we can uh, make an impact uh, there. So it's a pleasure to be with you and love talking through recruiting. It's an exciting topic, for at least for me, and I've been doing this for 25 years, and it still gets me kind of fired up to kind of think about where, where it's going and where it's been. Brian, I could listen to you all day anyway because you have a wealth of information, and uh, it's it's fun to listen to you. And but but you're right, and and to you know back up that point, even now with all that's out there and in, in NIL and and transfer portal and and two or three other things you mentioned there, we could do a whole video on each one of those, yes. and and try to help with the information because there, there's there's so much to know. Well, let's go then to what you have launched this week, uh, just within the last twenty. 24 hours. Uh, you have a couple of products that are out there, a program as well. Let's start with uh, the recruit route. What is the recruit route and, and uh, how do kids and their parents get involved with this? Yep, sure. So it's a, a so over that kind of, at least over the last five years, um, as we've worked with families and kids, we've had to build a portfolio of content. We've built partnerships. We've built some um, technology partnerships. We've done lots of seminars and clinics on recruiting, and we were getting more and more people were coming to me and saying, Brian, we think that this is valuable. We need to reach more people, or I'm a coach, or I'm a club, or I'm a booster club, or I'm a gym, or I'm an athletic director at a high school, or I'm a uh, entity that sells into youth the youth space. Um, there are more people that need to understand this. So could you maybe package up some of what you're doing in kind of a lighter touch uh, manner and provide that out to folks. And so I kind of toyed with the idea because I certainly love working with um, kids one-on-one. -on -one. I love talking to parents. I love that conversation. I was on last night with a kid in Florida that we're working with and he got his first offer. And those are exciting moments. 
So we're gonna continue to do that, but also think about how do we scale what we're doing to more and more people. So we have launched two new products this week. So our high touch engagement, so those people that want our content library, that want our um, that want access to me and one-on-one -on -one coaching and kind of that travel agent kind of mindset or CPA, kind of that hired gun, so to speak, when it comes to recruiting, they can absolutely do that. We've been doing that for five years now. That'll continue. We're going to rebrand that and call that Recruit Route Elite. So those people that want a more high-touch engagement, they, are, you know, I had a parent call me last week and said, we just need someone that is just thinking about this every day with our son. Like we don't think about it because we've got a job and life and kids and everything else. So we want somebody who's a one-on-one -on -one instructor thinking about it. And so that'll be what Recruit Route Elite is. It'll provide all of our content library, virtual calls, one-on-one -on -one portals, all the things that we do to help with recruiting, but we'll also do it in a really high touch manner. Um, secondly, we launched really a subscription platform that's just digital only. So, um, you know, I liken that to kind of Rosetta Stone uh, when you think about learning a second language. Recruit Route Elite is like going to college and getting the 2000 level French class on recruiting. You'll get that from me. But if you just want the Rosetta Stone and you just want to digitally learn recruiting and NIL, then Recruit Route kind of fits for that. So Elite is the high touch and Recruit Route is kind of a digital only subscription. And there we'll provide biweekly content on recruiting and NIL. We'll give some tools that will give access to a CRM, allow kids to build a micro website. It'll have a digital checklist that will push out a notification on them. So it's basically a digital version of Brian that gets kind of pushed out. And then we'll do some virtual workshops on a quarterly basis for those families that are part of it. And all of our elite kids will get all of that recruit route stuff as well. So they'll get kind of best of both worlds. But for, for um, those families that want to maybe, uh, maybe need, know they need to do something but aren't ready to go full in, or maybe they're a little younger, maybe they're in eighth grade or ninth grade, just starting to kind of get exposed to it, Recruit Route's a really good fit for those kids um, and their parents. So we'll sell commercially Recruit Route for $499.99 a year on an annual subscription, um, and uh, we're excited. We've got also... With that, we've got a number of partners who are then going to be selling it out and adding it to different bundles. So we'll sell it commercially on our website, but also, Joey, we'll have a number of partners, whether it's gyms, performance coaches, clubs, booster clubs, et cetera, where we do basically kind of a revenue share model with those folks um, where they can um, add value and package it up with maybe other products and services that they'll take out. So it's exciting for uh, on a number of different levels. Again, I'm probably a little bit of a nerd on the recruiting front, but I think that this is the way that people want to consume it. And this is the way that we help scale with other coaches and other trainers and other people who dabble in recruiting, but don't have the tools, the necessary investment, or maybe the depth of subject matter expertise. If we can provide that and kind of partner with them, that works as well. I was curious about the partner programs too. And, and I think that's really, that's neat to be able to get everyone involved, really all facets then. So you've got coaches, gyms, clubs, uh, recruits, potential recruits, parents, and, and everybody, everybody has a chance to, to, to benefit from these programs. Yeah, that, I mean, that was kind of the, the method to the madness, so to speak, right, is, is how do we do this in a way that scales so we can hit lots of people and, and, um, and we can reach the needs. But also, you know, our partners are doing different things, whether it's nutrition or, you know, I have a company in Atlanta that does character. They write a curriculum on character and how important character is to recruiting and just life skills. And they're thinking about character in the context of recruiting and NIL, right? I've got a I have a rights holder in the in the, in the Charlotte area that represents school districts along the East Coast, and they're you know thinking about how do we empower all of those sixty thousand parents with knowledge about recruiting and their athletic directors and their coaches. So this you know kind of works in a number of different areas, but you know the core tenet is can we empower and educate student athletes and and uh, parents in the youth or high school age. Can we do that in a way that effectively um, changes the experience for so many families? I'd like to think that we can, and I'm bullish after five years of doing this. Um, last year, we had two kids play in the USA uh, you know, All-American, or would have played in the USA All-American game on NBC. 
Um, we've got multiple. We had seven kids go to Division One last year. Tons of kids playing soccer and basketball and football and track and everything at all sorts of different levels. And so we know we're doing something right. Now we have to just reach more people. All right. Well, I, I, I hope we're doing that for you and for them right now. And Brian, one of the thing really quickly, you've mentioned it a couple of times, and obviously it's, it's relevant to where we are right now, the NIL, the name, image, likeness. Um, how big is that then on, on all these levels? And uh, how can something like your products uh, help? As you, you were talking about, people are learning character. I, that goes a long, long way. And you know what? We could spend another video just on that alone, too. Sure. But, <laughs> but talk about that and, and how that plays in. Yeah, I mean, I think it's a, it's certainly it's evolving, right? We're we're a little over a month into the process right now, and I think we're learning a lot about it. Um, but um, you know, I, I try to take a step back and think about if I was sixteen or seventeen, like what would that mean to me? And the thing that I keep coming back to is really around education and protection first. And what I mean by that is. Um, don't get over your, you know, don't get uh, way over your skis on, you know, trying to be some brand ambassador, you know, but focus on the basics. The basics right now for a high school kid should be focus on what's important. Be a good teammate. Early is to be on time. You know, that analogy as a coach, right? Perform at your best. Do really good in school as best as, that you can and then have great character. If you do those things, that's gonna give you an opportunity to have some options to pursue in college. And again, the statistics say that less than 10% of kids that play high school sports actually play in college. So then if you're one of those less than 10% of guys or girls that go on to college, and if you've done the right things, then you think about, okay, well, which schools provide the best option potentially for school, location, grades, all, you know, playing time. And then you add, you're adding basically another decision-making process around name, image, and likeness or your brand and the business that will be your brand. And, um, and then at that point in time, and only at that point in time, in my opinion, do you really need to think about name, image, and likeness? So you've got to think about the basics first, it's kind of, uh, I heard a guy, uh, Luke Feldham, um, he has a podcast that does this, and he talks about playing offense and defense. So I think we're going to play defense first, then we're going to play offense, okay? And uh, then, you know, you have to, you know, when you get to that opportunity, um, it's really thinking about um, do I have, you know, do I have like a business plan? It doesn't have to be anything long and drawn out, but like what do I want my brand to be? How much time am I going to spend in this? If I've got a heavy class load in a certain semester plus my you know, training, how do I manage this? What am I willing to sign up for? Um, what are my non-negotiables? What's my character worth, right? Um, how am I going to manage this? Am I going to hire an agent? Um, do I have an attorney to review documentation? Um, so you need some people that you can trust around you. Um, but I will tell you, there are uh, there are going to be some kids that make some really bad mistakes, unfortunately, through this because they're going to be quick to, hey, my DMs are open. You've seen a lot of that over the last couple of weeks. And the reality is not every deal is a good deal. Um, and I think that we have to really be focused out of the gate with these young people is really teaching them on what name, image, and likeness really means and then how do you put things in place to protect yourself so that when the right opportunity comes to bear? Um, I, I've had multiple kids uh, at Division I schools uh, and their parents contact me this summer. Um, I had one of the number one running, running backs in the country. His dad called me, and I was simply like, don't sign it. Don't hire an agent right now. Uh, build a business plan. Uh, maybe go buy his domain name for your son's uh, web address. You don't need to build a website. Just go buy the domain name for 20 bucks on GoDaddy. Yeah. Uh, and and uh, and then uh, make sure you have a, a conversation with your CPA and or attorney in case you do need to look at something. But just slow your roll. Like don't, don't jump into things because there are going to be, again, some situations where 
you think that, you know, a certain deal has, you know, a great upside and you don't really realize the implications. A case in point would be you take uh, you take Abe, whether it be trade or gear or a lease on a car or whatnot, you now have to claim that, you now have tax implications, you now have federal student aid uh, implications that might affect your Pell Grant. There are lots of different things that kids really don't really fully understand because candidly, Joey, when we were 18, we probably wouldn't be thinking about that either. Um, it, but it's quick to say, oh yeah, I can send out a tweet and get a few bucks back or, hey, they're gonna send me a swag bag. That's cool, but everything adds up and guess what? It all does have an implication. So I think that it, you come back to just being really smart and conscious about it. And again, we could do a whole you know show on this topic alone, but the reality is these are the things that we're trying to empower people to understand the basics in high school so that it's not just some huge surprise when they do get into college. Wow. You're, you're right. There is so much that is out there. That, that is amazing. And, and again, we don't think about it a lot of times. Lots of times we just like to turn on the game too. So, <laughs> and yeah. see the kids that are Which, out there. And again, so, yeah. I come back to your priority right now should be the priority is the priority, which mm -hmm. is you're there to be a student and an athlete. Right. If you do that well, and you have some free time in the off season, as long as you plan ahead and have kind of thought through it, then you could consider it, right? But, you know, especially kids now, I mean, we're getting ready to enter the fall season. I mean, when are you going to go do autograph signings or you can't run a camp? Because, you, I mean, there's lots of things that you would like to be able to do. The reality is you need to just, again, for those fall sport kids, just focus on being, you know, good in your sport. Yeah. And then it'll take care of itself. But you got to be, you know, it's one of those measure twice, cut once kind of mentalities, at least for me right now. Brian, tell us how that uh, we can get in touch with you and get in touch with the products that you talked about just now. Yeah. So again, uh, Recruit Route and Recruit Route Elite are, are our two kind of flagship products um, around recruiting and name, image, and likeness. You can go to recruit-route.com or you can email us uh, at recruitroute uh, at gmail.com and uh, we'll be happy to answer questions, but uh, it's been fun. You can follow us on all the various social channels, either uh, look up uh, Recruit Route or look up um, Bedford Agency, either one of those, you'll find us on all the social platforms and uh, love, to, love to help people as much as possible, Jay. All right. Well, I, and I know that, and I appreciate that about you, Brian, that, that you are a good person and you do want to help people and, and want to make the most of their opportunities in their lives. And that's athletes, parents, and, and everyone that's involved. Brian Bedford from the Bedford agency, again, the Bedford agency.com. You can check him out there as well as social media. Brian, thanks so much for joining us today and, and talking about what college recruits need to know, giving us at least an overview there. And, and I know that they can contact you and learn a little bit more. Yeah, great. Thanks, Joey.